What's up, DJ Booth? I'm Brendan Varan and Free Gucci. The Atlanta trap god known as Gucci Man has been locked up an astounding number of times over the last decade. Luckily, we are here with a basic breakdown so that the next time you yell Free Gucci, you know exactly what it is you're freeing him from. Going back to 2005, at the height of his beef with Young Jeezy, five men attempted to rob Gucci of his trademark ice cream cone chain. He ended up with a gun and shot at his assailants, and one was later found dead. With a murder warrant out for his arrest, Gucci turned himself in and pleaded self-defense, though the charges were later dropped due to insufficient evidence. Two months later, Gucci is arrested for assaulting a club promoter and hitting him with a pool stick several times. He pleaded no contest, but is found guilty of aggravated assault and is sentenced to six months in prison. He was actually in jail when he found out that his earlier murder charge had been dismissed. Fast forward four years, Gucci finds himself back in prison following several parole violations. Uh, coincidentally, his major label debut album, fittingly titled The State vs. Radrick Davis, was released while he was being held in prison. One year later, an off-duty cop sees Gucci's car driving recklessly and follows him to see him arguing with an unnamed man outside of a body shop. When the officers tried to intervene, Gucci Man allegedly punched that man in the face, is pepper sprayed, and arrested on charges of damage to government property, obstruction of justice, among many other things. A special plea of mental incompetence is filed on Gucci's behalf in court. Two months later, and as a result of that mental incompetence plea, Fulton County would order Gucci to a mental health facility to undergo a psychiatric evaluation. Days after his release from the hospital, he would go on to get his infamous ice cream cone face tattoo. The following April, Gucci is arrested during a visit with his parole officer, stemming from an incident that January, where he pushed a woman out of a moving car after she refused to have sex with him in exchange for $150. That September, Gucci is sentenced to six months in prison, pleading guilty to charges of battery, reckless conduct, and disorderly conduct, though he would only serve three months due to good behavior. In March of 2013, police issue a warrant for Gucci's arrest after he allegedly attacks a fan with a champagne bottle. He turns himself in, is indicted on one count of aggravated assault, posts bail the next day, but then is immediately sent back to prison after violating parole. He will spend the next three weeks in prison. September of 2013 just might have been Gucci's craziest month to date, as he was arrested after a phone call to police that cited his erratic behavior. The police showed up, found not only weed, but a gun, and booked him on charges of possession of a concealed weapon, possession of marijuana, and disorderly conduct. Believe it or not, just two days prior, they responded to a separate phone call citing his erratic behavior, where they found a different handgun, though no charges were pressed. Believe it or not, even more, this was the same week that he went on both his infamous Twitter rant and had his infamous fight inside Atlanta's Lenox Mall. In December of that year, Gucci is charged in federal court with two counts of possession of a firearm by a convicted felon, faces a maximum of 20 years in prison, but ends up taking the plea deal that puts his expected release about three years and three months later in either late 2016 or early 2017. Finally, we've made it to 2016. In January, a post on the 1017 Instagram page says Gucci is going to be released in March. Two weeks later, another post on that same page says he will not be released in March. So yes, Gucci Man is still behind bars and we are not actually sure when he will be free, but hopefully this gives you a better idea of the troubled long history between an Atlanta hip-hop icon, and the legal system he can't seem to escape. I'm Brendan Varan. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as always, keep it locked.